Our local lead this morning, a community coming together to help a favorite neighborhood pub devastated by a fiery crash over the weekend. We're talking about Ireland's four courts in the courthouse neighborhood of Arlington, where more than a dozen people were hurt, several seriously, after a car crashed into the restaurant during Friday's happy hour. Still a lot of unanswered questions. Bob Barnard's back there live with what happens next for the pub and still not much on the investigation as to how this happened, Bob. Not necessarily, Steve. We know, according to Arlington County Police, it apparently was an Uber driver heading northbound in this direction toward us here on North Courthouse Road. Came through the intersection. There's a light here, but it kind of dead ends here and ended up right into the front of Ireland's four courts. There was at least one passenger in that Uber as well. Both the driver and the passenger injured can show you some video. I mean, there was, you know, Severe flames coming out of the building from a distance, though. On Friday at happy hour, you could see the smoke there. Uh, Dave Cahill is one of the owners. He went inside and took some pictures and shared these with us. So devastated inside. The building is still structurally sound, we're told, but a lot of damage indoors. There were more than a dozen people hurt, three employees, the two people that were in the car that went way into the building and took hours to remove, and then other customers there. We believe there are as many as four people still in the hospital in serious to critical condition, but we don't know the exact nature of all of those injuries. Uh, as far as the future of this business, we just don't know. They're hoping to rebuild. Uh, there are a lot of people who've been coming here. There was a high school 10th reunion from Stonebridge High School in Northern Virginia, supposed to have their reunion here Friday, uh, on Saturday. They found out Friday and had to move. Uh, for the folks in this neighborhood, they're scratching their heads this morning. And they just, I mean, just came spitting out of here. Like, I, I don't know if that was from the car or hit something in the bar, but it was like a, like a rocket engine pouring out of this thing. This is a tricky intersection. I suspect the guy clearly out of town, because every local knows this intersection is kind of dangerous, but. It had to be like some kind of distracted driving flying through this light. Like uh, witnesses say they just came screaming down courthouse. And the fact that it went straight through here with no skid marks is like very terrifying. And I guess could have been like a medical emergency, but I think there needs to be a little more awareness for driving. You know, I think there's a lot of inattentiveness lately. I don't know why. Um, it just seems like there's crazy accidents on the road and more and more things that make less and less sense. Um. So was it, was it a distraction, a medical emergency? We just don't know. But as Matt was saying there, it doesn't appear that the uh, car slowed down at all, kind of into this dead end intersection. The community has raised almost $65,000, guys. Uh, they have a GoFundMe campaign to ideally rebuild. Again, you know, it's going to be closed for some time. A lot of uh, smoke and fire damage indoors. But the building is sound, and the bagel shop and the restaurant on either side are open today. You know, it's, I was out there Friday right after this happened, Bob, and uh, there were two cars that were parked in front of the pub, and there was just enough room for that car to get in between oh, them. I mean, it was just unbelievable wow. how it just got right in that spot that was mm -hmm. open. And, uh, and got into the pub, and I talked to some right, right there, and I talked to some people who were inside as well, and they said that it Tables. was such force that it blew all the back doors of the pub open on the back side of the wow. bar when the car went in the front. Incredible. Wow. Bob, thanks and very there's much. Some, there's some video on TikTok of the flames coming out of here, guys. Yeah. So, yeah, it was it was a crazy scene. And, and if there were people out here, we don't know, but if there were people sitting out here, my goodness, you know, seeing it coming and not being able to do anything about it. Sure. All right, Bob, thanks very much. We'll stay on top of the story for you, Marissa.